little fella. Give us that told still. There's not much room for scum like you in this forest. You know, I'm a fun guy. Oh, yo! Hi, folks. Tom from Van Dabby Dozy. Thanks for tuning in. So, if you followed this channel for a while, you'll know that I'm a sucker for a good stick and I'll have a whole playlist of videos discussing its many survival uses, how to make a good one, comparing some of my favourite stick fighting arts from around the world in ages, and even one on the signs of how to swing a stick perfectly. In this video, I'm joined once again by my buddy Ben from Source of Swords, and together we share some basic walking staff self-defence techniques you could teach a beginner, mainly inspired by the 18th century French fighting art known as the French Great Stick, from the Jean Phil tradition. But we also throw in some bits and bobs from our other favourite stick fighting arts from different traditions. If you want to see our video comparing our favourite different arts, then click the link up here. Now, we've tried to make this video concise and digestible for our YouTube audience, but if you want to learn more, then we've created an eight part video lesson series over on my Patreon page on the tier titled School of the Altan. Each lesson is about five minutes long, and for every one, we demonstrate two or three fun solo and partner exercises you can practice at home to develop your stick fighting skills. We've even developed some fun training games, such as you virtually trying to defend yourself from Ben's strikes at the camera. The right guard for the right strike. Guard. 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 Slightly faster. Game on then, Ben. Guard. Huh. Huh. Guard. The lessons start with the absolute fundamentals and then progress to more advanced techniques. The first three lessons are already on the Patreon page, ready for you to learn. I will then release the other lessons one at a time weekly. Now this video isn't sponsored by anyone and ideally I want this channel to be free from relying on sponsors in the future. And if you've enjoyed my content, then becoming a patron is the best way of helping the channel do that. The School of the Altan tier is the beginnings of a survival school I'm developing, and there I've already released lessons on how I do my staff flows, as well as historical cooking. But if you can't afford that subscription, then there's two other lower tiers that you can still get access to things like behind the scenes videos and extra learning resources. But honestly, folks, I'm grateful to anyone who wants to join that online community over on the Patreon page. But without further ado, let's get into it. So, I am joined once again by Ben from Source of Swords, talking about our favourite subject, sticks. Right, Ben, mm. here's the situation. Imagine I'm a lonely traveller about to go on adventure, mm. right? And on this adventure, I need to go through some land that's known to have some bandits that might rob me. So say I have no martial art experience whatsoever, and all I have to defend myself is my trusty walking staff. Say if you only had a short period of time mm. to teach me some moves, what three things would you teach me to help me defend myself on my adventure? Okay, so uh, a couple of things first. One is not all staffs are created equal. Mm. So something like this, a true quarter staff, this is a weapon. It is heavy, there's an awful lot of mass. I can generate a devastating strike with this, 
but they're very subtle movements. Mm. But walking sticks, they tend to be light. Lighter, so yeah. that's going to change what we're doing with it. Another thing is, when we're talking about self-defense, uh, there are no shortcuts. So you know, normally the fundamentals of tactics and footwork and distance, that just comes with experience. But given that, I think we can have a go. Okay, okay. cool. You up for the challenge? Absolutely, Tom. Let's do it. Now, the first thing to understand is this isn't a sword, it's not a lightsaber. As soon as this isn't properly charged with kinetic energy, it is completely harmless. Okay, so the first thing we want to practice is generating momentum. Often I like to start just from the fingers, yeah? Just get used to controlling these circles. And then, once you're used to it, you then just imagine you're using the whole body. What we're starting to do is understand how to generate full baseball bat style swings up to maybe two a second. Once we can do that, we have genuine stopping power. Now, to keep this simple and effective, I've only been doing horizontal strikes. You can do other strikes. You can do rising strikes, you can do vertical strikes, but it's a lot harder to completely control that force and have it flow from one strike to the other if you have an angle of any kind. Once we've generated this stopping power, we now need to think about targeting. Now, bony targets are always good, but I like to simplify it a little bit. So, what I'm looking for is thinking about head, knee, and then the weapon or the weapon hand. Boom. You can go for soft, muscly bits, but it's probably just going to bruise. It probably isn't going to end the fight. Okay. Aim for bony bits. Exactly. Now, the best advantage a staff has is range. We always want to strike with an escape strategy in mind. My favourite one is with a lunge. Keeping that back foot planted means that when I strike, it's much, much easier for me to recover and fly backwards than just standard forward and backwards footwork. Now, when you're up against a short weapon, the best defense is a good offense, yeah? But when someone has something longer, like a stick, a sword, or maybe their own staff, we have to start defending ourselves by building walls. Now, with a short staff, the hands are always vulnerable, so I always recommend building perfectly vertical or perfectly horizontal walls around your body. Once you're at a slight angle, most things that hit will slide along the stick and hit your fingers. All I would recommend for a beginner is building perfectly horizontal and vertical portrait walls around your body. One side, the other side, top of the head. However, there are more comprehensive guard theories where you're dynamically using your hands. Boom. 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 <laughs> but we'll cover these in more detail on the School of the Altan course. Now, one of the very first things people think about when you think about self-defense with a staff is thrusts. Now, thrusts are lethal. You're putting the whole mass of the body behind a very small point. But, it's a high risk, high reward because they are easy to miss, they're easy to parry, and they're easy to grab. So, I wouldn't teach a beginner thrust, but it's one of the later courses on the skill of the Altan. What happens when someone grabs your stick? Because it probably will happen. Now, say someone has a knife, so they're probably going to grab it one-handed. What you want to do is keep stepping backwards and draw small circles, aiming for the gap between the thumb and the fingers. Circle shot. Yeah. Always think about moving backwards until you get it. But what happens if they don't have a weapon and they want to grab it with two hands? Boom. For now, we're going to call this the tip, this the butt. What you want to do is get your hand in between both of their hands quickly and then push the tip down and to the outside of your opponent and then swing up and around in a big circle. Either they let go or they end up in a very unadvantageous position. Hands 
shoot your hand in between their hands, point to the ground, big circle around your opponent, and then finish. Cool, well thanks Ben. So I guess we can overly simplify all that into three moves, right? We're basically building momentum by drawing circles and creating space. Uh, we are building walls, defensive structures, and we are breaking grips, right, in case someone rushes us. But then within that we covered quite a lot, didn't we? So you said with these circles that horizontal mm. is best to focus on uh, because it's easier to flow into each other and creating space. You also said, you know, targeting. You know, sure, swinging circuit, swinging a stick about is, uh, will create space, but if we can build accuracy, mm. it's going to be more effective. So what do you say? Aim for the bony bits, right? Aim for the head, aim for the knuckles, aim for the elbows and the knees. Um, now you said if we were up against someone with no weapon or maybe a short weapon, then attack is the best form of defense. Uh, but then if we're up against someone who has a stick just as long or longer than us, then we do need to think about uh, parries and building walls. So you were saying, keep it simple for beginners, basically uh, building boxes vertical and horizontal. That's what you said, right? Um, then we recover. So it is likely if someone was attacking you that they are going to try to grab your stick, right? Um, so you said one-handed, if they grabbed it one hand, it's small circles aiming to break that grip between the thumb and forefinger. And if someone grabbed it with two hands, you said, put your hand in between them, and then you're drawing that mm. circle with the tip of your staff and they're outside up and over them. Yeah. Okay. I reckon you can teach a traveler that quite quickly. I certainly feel more confident going on my adventure. <laughs> Excellent, glad to hear it. Good. <laughs> cool. Well, thanks so much for watching this, folks. Um, we go into much more detail on the School of the Altan courses. So if you're interested, please do go check out the Patreon page, click on the School of the Altan tier, and we go through all of these in much more detail. We also will cover thrusts, which is a bit more of that kind of a uh, high reward, but risky. Um, also folks, please do check out Source of Swords. If you find yourself in Glasgow, Ben does courses on broadsword and staff. Um, I'll put all the links to his school below. Definitely go check him out. This guy is a master. You want him if you're traveling through a land full of bandits who might steal your mushrooms. <laughs> cool. Thanks, man. Yeah, I appreciate it.